Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's take a look at the, Lor the Lorentz transformation equations. Remember, the Lorentz transformation equations are used in case we have relativistic velocities when the velocity of one reference frame is moving much faster than the velocity of another reference frame with velocities near the speed of light. So here we have the two reference frames. One is S, stationary reference frame. One is the S prime, which is the moving reference frame. It's moving at velocity u relative to observer A, who's in the stationary reference frame. Observer B is in the moving reference frame. And the event is happening in the moving reference frame S prime. Remember on the previous videos, we found out that the time between A and B is related to this equation and the time and the length as measured by A and the length as measured by B is related by this equation. And again, A is in the stationary reference frame, B is in the moving reference frame, and the event is happening in the moving reference frame. Now, what is the distance as measured by A to the event in relation to the distance as measured by B to the event? So the way we can do that is we can say that x, which is the distance as measured by the observer in the stationary reference frame, is equal to the distance as measured by the observer in the moving reference frame. But now we have to be careful here because notice that just as we saw before, that the length as observed by the two observers is not the same. So even though b observes this length to be x prime, a will not observe this length to be x prime. It will observe that length to be x prime times the square root of 1 minus u squared over c squared. So we have to multiply that times 1 minus u squared over c squared. And then we have to add to that length the length right here, which is equal to plus the velocity of the reference frame that's moving as prime times the time as measured by a. And of course, that would be t without the prime symbol right there. And so typically we like to reverse the, the order of this, so we can write that x is equal to u times t plus x prime times the square root of 1 minus u, u squared over c squared. And this is the transformation equation, according to Lorentz, in the x direction, because that's the direction of travel of the moving reference frame. Now what about the transformations for the y in the z direction? Well, since there's no movement in the y or z direction by the moving reference frame, we could then simply say that y is equal to y prime and z is equal to z prime, and there's no difference at all in those two directions. Nothing changes. There's no change in the apparent size in the direction of the x direction, I mean the y direction or the z direction, and there's no effect because there's no velocity in those two directions. So these are the three transformation equations going from the stationary reference frame to the moving reference frame, assuming that the moving reference frame is moving only in the x direction at velocity u. And that's how we go from one to the other reference frame as far as measuring the position or the length of an event or the position of event in the one reference frame that's moving relative to the reference frame that's stationary. And that's how it's done.